This is Vivo Y100, one of the best smartphone under 30,000 rupees. I am using this smartphone since two days and I can definitely tell that this is going to be a good smartphone because it has a good battery life, good display, a better chipset and many more. So if your budget around 25 to 30,000 rupees, this phone will be good for you. And thanks again to Pujara Mobile Store who gave me this opportunity to review this smartphone. So if you are guys new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon. So any further delay, let's jump into the video. So first let's talk about the looks and design. So it looks very premium and comes with the three color variants which is gold, blue and black color. I have a gold color variant which is looks very nice. Talking about the body, it comes with the boxy design which is same to a Vivo V25 and also same features which is mentioned in Vivo V25. It is quite comfortable in hand, in hand feel is very good, not a bulky phone, so very nice. Talking about the dimensions, it weighs around 177 grams and the thickness is around 7.7 mm which is quite nice. Metal frame is used in this smartphone, also it has a glass back panel and back panel comes with the color changing technology. If you take this smartphone in sunlight, it changes its color into dark golden color which looks very nice. And this phone comes with the IP54 rating which is dust and splash proof not a waterproof. Overall looks is very nice and quite comfortable in hand. I like this smartphone in 5 major points. So first one is the display. So it has a 6.3 inches AMOLED display which comes with the full HD resolution and supports 90Hz refresh rate. It also comes with the HDR10 support so you can enjoy every minor detail in videos. And display is quite bright because it has a 1300 nits peak brightness which is quite good. So if you like to watch movies, this smartphone is very good for you. This smartphone comes with the under display fingerprints so overall display quality is very good. But I notice a one point which I don't like is a touch response. Yes, it's good but not that great. So Vivo has to work on it. And second point is uh, this display is do not protect it by Gorilla Glass or Dragon Tail Glass. Vivo do not mention any information about the Gorilla Glass or Dragon Tail Glass. But I like the one point of Vivo smartphone. All the phones comes with the tempered glass on it. So it is very good. So number two is the performance. So this phone comes with the MediaTek Dimensity 900 Octa-Core processor which is also used in Vivo V25. I have already made a video on Vivo V25. If you want to watch that video, click on i button and you can also check the description. So Dimensity 900 is a quite powerful processor. This processor is made for multitasking and day-to-day uh, -day life uses. You can easily play BGMI, COD, Free Fire, Asphalt 8 9. The gaming performance of this smartphone is good but not that great. If you are looking for a good multitasking and gaming smartphone, this smartphone will be a good choice for you. So now let's talk about the camera module. So it has a triple camera setup at the rear which is technically a dual camera setup because it has a 64 megapixel primary lens and 2 megapixel macro lens and the third one is a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So personally I am quite impressed with the camera performance because 64 megapixel primary lens take good photos, it captures very natural colors. 64 megapixel has OIS in it which is working very nice. You can shoot up to 4K 60fps with the 64 megapixel camera. So primary lens support ultra stabilization at full HD 30fps and standard stabilization at up to 4K 30fps. And literally guys, the video stabilization works very well in this smartphone. The full resolution 64 megapixel photos are very good. They are very detailed photos and also comes with the natural colors. The nighttime performance of this smartphone is also very good, but portrait photos are not that very well. Vivo has to work on portrait photos. So talking about the selfie camera, it comes with the 16 megapixel selfie lens. The photos which is uh, taken by the selfie camera is good. Skin tone is a uh, little bit smoother. Portrait photos are good and you can shoot up to Full HD 30 FPS with the selfie camera. So overall camera module of this smartphone is quite nice. Photos are very good and videography is also very good. So the fourth point is a storage option. So this phone comes with the 8GB LPDDR4X RAM and comes with the 128 internal storage and storage type is a UFS 3.1 which is quite nice. 
because storage type matters a lot. If your phone comes with the latest storage type, you can definitely observe this thing which is app closing time is shorter. If you are using your smartphone for video editing, you can definitely observe that the files are loaded quickly, the rendering speed also faster or you can also copy paste your file quickly. But these are the benefits of latest storage type. So this phone comes with the Android 13 with the ColorOS 13. So I am not a fan of ColorOS because I don't like ColorOS and Fun Touch OS because it comes with the very bloatwares and the extra apps and the optimization is not that great. I am a fan of stock Android because it is very clean UI. There is a lot more featuring Fun Touch OS and ColorOS which is not in stock Android. But I don't like the color scheme of ColorOS. So finally guys let's talk about the battery life which is the fifth point. So this phone comes with the 4500 mAh battery which is very good and comes with the 44 watt superhook charger which charges your phone up to 60% in 30 minutes. So the battery is big but phone is not that heavy. If you are a normal user your phone can last up to a 2 days. So these are the 5 points which I like for this smartphone. So overall the phone is well balanced with the features and if you are want to buy this smartphone I also mentioned the contact details of Pujara mobile store in the description. So guys if you have a question about this smartphone do a comment and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also share this video to your friends and family members. So that's it for the day. So have a nice day. Jai Hind Jai Bharat. Thank you.